Hello and welcome to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel, or lately podcast, because I just talk and uh, I do stuff on my Amiga and show you. And sometimes I put up like flashy pictures and images that kind of are relevant to what I'm talking about to try and keep your interest because we are all silly monkeys and we are easily distracted. We need to be entertained at all times and what we're seeing visually has to change, has to move around, otherwise we get bored. Anyway, roll the intro, Q. Q! Hey, roll the intro. This computer will rule the world. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna uh, fire up Scenery Animator. It has nothing to do with the video I'm talking about, by the way. But what I wanna talk about is something that might be, uh, I don't know, what, what's your opinion? I'm gonna make this bold statement. I'm gonna say that the Amiga came out, eh, what, 1985, about, right? Around 1985. And very quickly, it started developing a, an artistic scene, right? Graphics and, and audio. I think Amiga, is responsible for the current trance, EDM, BPM, dubstep music scene. Now you might be, you might just right there, you, you're gonna drop a comment and say Q, no, 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 Q, Q, Q. You, you don't understand any of this, stop talking about it. Well, I'm not gonna stop talking about it because this is my channel, so I'm gonna keep talking about it. What I wanna say is, I'm gonna hit play by the way, look at that, ooh, look how fast that is by the way. Scenery Animator, I'm using Scenery Animator 4.0, by the way, in the background. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Look at that little flying through the uh, landscape there. That's awesome, let's stop right there though. And what, I'm, what I'm, my point is that Amiga Mod Files and all of the original demo scene and crack intro creators out there who combined visuals and music and all of this, this you know, kind of like almost hypnotic flare right where you would just sit back and listen to the music and you'd watch the visuals on the on the crack intro or the demo scene play that all came out i mean if you if you want to look we could all google right if you google like you know the birth of of techno and edm and trance it, it it's around you know, they always say like the late 80s early 90s okay well guess what guess what else came out around the late 80s and early 90s can you can you can you figure it out can you figure it out i'm gonna hit quit right now yeah, Amiga, right here, this, Amiga, right? You know, obviously not Ego Player. It would have been like something like Octomed, which uh, I don't have installed. That's embarrassing. I'm just saying that during that whole era of that birth of techno and, and, and trance, whatever, some of you out there in the in the music scene with Amiga will remember Moby, of course. Moby was famous for like, he was making music on his Commodore 64 you know, well until the early to mid 2000s, right? Okay. Now, again, I am not a music person. I am an, I'm a graphics 3D guy, right? I'm, I'm this guy, right? This, this guy, the, the lightweight 3D guy. So I'm going to sound like an idiot for a lot of this audio stuff I'm talking about. And I really, I was really hesitant even making this video uh, talking about such stuff because, man, I know there's going to be people out there like, Q, you don't really know a lot about music, man. Why are you talking about it? I just feel like this is my, you know, look, this is my YouTube channel. And I was thinking, I had like this moment of clarity. I was jamming out to some uh, Gareth Emery and some Ashley Walbridge and uh, Armin Van Buren. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? This sounds a lot like, like if I ran a playlist on VLC of Amiga mods and mixed it in with that modern stuff, honestly, it all just blends together. It all just kind of sounds like the same thing. Then I realized, yeah, I think kind of like Amiga gave birth to modern trance, EDM, BPM, dubstep, you know, music. That's that's where it all comes from. All of this, all of that was, you know, maybe they were inspired by or or maybe it just led to it. I don't know. I just, I could be completely wrong. Like I said, there could be a whole scene. I know it all started in the UK and I'm not from the UK. I'm over here in the, in the colonies, us uh, rebellious Yanks. I get it. That, that, that was my thought. I could be totally off my game here, but I don't know. I, I wanted to make a kind of a, a short, quick video about this because it's on my mind. I was jamming out and I thought to myself, this sounds so much like the Amiga mods I listened to 
in my playlist when I'm trying to like focus or do work. So during the day in my day job, by the way, you know, as many of you know, I have a day job. And during my day job, one of the things I do to crank through all this 3D animation I have to do for my day job, I listen to trance. I listen to EDM. I listen to drum and bass. I listen to dubstep because it just, it just, it's, it becomes like this oral noise in the background that just drives and pumps me and excites me. It's almost like audio caffeine, if that's a thing, right? Audio caffeine. And it just keeps my brain going. And that's why I listen to it. Would I ever sit down and just listen to it? To, to chill out or relax, maybe, maybe, I don't know, but for work, it just fills that void of like, I need to see my job get done quickly and efficiently, and this music seems to make it happen, right? This this kind of music just makes it happen. Look at the Voyager there, the Voyager gorgeous. That's such a great looking ship. Oh, look at that. I know it's low res and chunky and, and all pixelated and gross, but look at that. I'm, the Voyager on the Amiga just looks so good. That looks so good. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick comment, quick video on that. And uh, I, I thank you all for watching. I know this is, it's, it's short. I said it was gonna be short. I said it was gonna be short. Did I roll the intro? Q, did you roll the intro? Yeah, you did, okay. Anyway, that's it. I think Amiga gave birth to modern trance and uh, you know, techno music. Uh, if you think I'm crazy and insane, leave a comment below. Otherwise, um, I'm gonna keep believing I'm right. That might upset a lot of people. All right, I'm done with this video.